Hi, Chemistry 150 students. In this problem sessions video, I'm gonna go over a problem that I saw quite a few people miss, and it's a good review for your basic problem solving techniques when you get word problems. So the problem reads, the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. So typically acceleration is a distance over time squared. What is this in feet per minute squared? So the basic rules are, you know, kind of identify what you want. I want an acceleration and the units are gonna be feet per minutes squared. What am I given? I'm given 9.81 meters per second squared. Now, typically, I like doing different types of problems because what I see is what I want is units of a ratio. So it's a basically, it's like a conversion factor. So if I end with a ratio, I can actually start with a ratio. So because I'm ending in distance per times over time squared, I can start with distance over time squared, a ratio, okay? So that's a little trick. Now from meters per second squared, I can essentially go to, I can choose. I can either convert the time right away or I can convert the distance. I'm gonna convert the distance first. It's not a squared unit. It's easier to see. So I will convert the meters into centimeters. And the reason why I'm doing that is I know that there's a bridge of centimeters to inches. And I'll write second squared, I haven't been doing that. But I know that from inches, right, now I could easily go to the English unit of feet. And I can go to feet second squared. Now the dangerous part is I can easily go from seconds to minutes, but what I can't forget when I do this step is I'm going to have to square those numbers. So I cannot forget to do that. So I'm going to just write this all out and kind of show you step by step how to do that. So 9.81 meters per second squared. And I want to get rid of the unit of meter and I want to go to centimeter. So what am I going to use? I'm going to use the metric system. Centi, century, 100. There's 100 centimeters in one meter. So that took care of the unit of meter, but I'm only in centimeters. I need to get to feet. So I need a bridge from the metric system to our English system. And that bridge, I told you this is the one you should know if you watch that video. There is 2.54 centimeters in one inch. And now let me go now to inches. I still have inches to second squared. I need to get to feet. We're in our system, that's easy. There's 12 inches in one foot. Inches cancel. And I'm left with the unit in the numerator that I want feet. So where is the tricky part? The time. So I need to get rid of seconds squared. So that unit of seconds has to go on top. And on the bottom, I'm gonna have minutes. And I know in one minute, there's 60 seconds. However, this is squared. And you cannot forget to square, not just the unit, okay? We have to square the units. We have to square the numbers too. So you cannot forget to square the numbers. Really, when I do this, I should think of this more as one minute per 60 seconds. But if I square it, wouldn't I just multiply it by itself? So it's one minute times 60 seconds. And in reality, if I you know, wanted to, I could even write this as so there's 3,600 3, seconds squared per and one squared is just one, one minute squared. So the reason why I'm doing this video is if you forget to square that 60, right? 
because it's really easy to distribute the little two as an exponent to the units and forget that that's 60, that number needs to be squared, you're gonna get the wrong answer by 60 fold. So when you actually do this, the 9.81 times the 100 times the 3,600 divided by the product of 2.54 and 12 inches, you should get 1.16 times 10 to the fifth feet per minute squared. And that is an acceleration, which is distance over time squared. And it has the correct sig figs because we're gonna be using the numbers in the problem, not in any of the conversion factors that we bring in to solve the problem. And 9.81 has three sig figs. And so does my final answer here. So I hope that that actually makes sense. I know it took a while to kind of explain it, but as you get more and more practice, this will make more and more sense. And again, um, I'll try to make more of these videos as time goes on. And uh, you guys can always ask questions in office hours, leave it on ask a question discussion board, and I hope this helps. So this is again, dimensional analysis. We're using dimensional analysis. We're now we're ending with the ratio so we can start with the ratio and we cannot forget to square things if they're in units that are squared. Just like with volume, we can't forget to cube units like for density centimeter cubed. If I wanted to go to inches cubed, I would need to cube that number as well. So hope that helps. Thanks for watching and um, Look forward to the next video.